and Madam President. Your presence here this afternoon is an affirmation and an acknowledgement of the successes that these young men and women have achieved. This is truly a milestone for a group of young people who will leave the halls of this institution and make their contribution in a bigger world. A true reward for an educator at this level is to watch the growth and maturity that occurs during the high school years. The class of 2011 has done just that. By their commitment and dedication, the day has come when they will receive their ticket to go out and meet the challenges that await them at the next level. During their stay here, they have achieved success in academics, athletics, and the fine arts. They have begun to learn that games and life should be conducted by the rules. The individuals in this class have the potential as well as the ability to make many contributions to the community in which they elect to be citizens. Each and every one of these graduates can make a difference and leave the world a better place. I truly believe that they are prepared to embark on a journey ahead of them. Since this is my final opportunity to address you as the graduating class of 2011, let me share with you words of wisdom as provided by Mr. Bill Gates. Think of these tomorrow morning when you wake up and say, I am free to do as I wish. I will not share all of Mr. Gates' rules, just five. Rule number one. Life is not divided into semesters. You don't get summers off and very few employers are interested in helping you find yourself. Do that on your own time. Rule number two. The world won't care about your self-esteem. The world will expect you to accomplish something before you feel good about yourself. Rule number three. You will not make $60,000 a year right out of high school. You won't be a vice president with a car phone until you earn both. Rule number four. Your school may have done away with winners and losers, but life has not. Some schools have abolished failing grades and they'll give you as many times as you want to get the right answer. This doesn't bear the slightest resemblance to anything in real life. And then, my favorite. Before you were born, your parents weren't as boring as they are now. <laughs> They got that way from paying your bills, cleaning your clothes, and listening to you talk about how cool you thought you were. <laughs> so before you save the rainforest from the parasites of your parents' generation, try to in the closet in your own room. 